Afternoon everyone, Mark from Rytec. We've got our cedar all calibrated up and we've come to the field to set off with the 4 meter ALDE. So we're just going to go through the very basics of setting a Rytec restorer off in the field. So here we have the restorer in its 3 meter format for transport but it will also work as a 3 meter machine even though this particular one is a 4. So we can run it folded as a three, we can open the wings out as we're about to do now because we're going to use it here as a four metre machine. Always remember when you're setting up the restorer, if you can adjust the speed of your spool valve then slow is better. And now we just need to lock the uh, wings in place. We have a storage point here for the wings and the locking point on the inside and the toolbar wing same idea put the pin, take the pin pass it through the top hole that locks the wing in position so we remove the locking pin from its stowage point and put it in the locking position same again with the wing locking pin that's the storage position, that's the locking position. So now we're going to begin the setting up procedure for the restorer. We always start with the legs in the fully lifted position. Uh, the idea being, when we set it in the ground, we set the roller, in this case, with the aluminium wedges on the ram stop. What we're doing to start with is getting the cut of the disc. And then we look how deep we are with the leg, if we need any further depth that, and we're happy the disc is in far enough, then we can lower the leg on its individual pin. So we can set everything up to ideal conditions for the job in hand. So just before we start, we take our depth control from the machine. All restorers come with one of these, so we can probe the ground, tell exactly how, de how deep we're working. For a start, See, all the soil moving between the legs, as it is here, means we're shattering the ground between the legs. We have got a bit of a depth restriction here because we don't have much topsoil. And then we can follow the machine with the depth measuring stick. And we can see quite clearly, we've got 175 millimetres there, or seven inches, uh, the depth of the, the working depth of the machine currently. The other thing always to check, like any machine, but the restorer is no different, it likes to run level on the back of the tractor, so we need to check we've got the machine level with the back axle of the tractor, and we also need to check the top link. So, ideally, we want the front hitch to be at 90 degree angle with the ground, by either lengthening or shortening the top link to make that happen. This one doesn't look too far out. It's not absolutely critical, and of course, we can alter the angle of the wings on the leg to get more lift and also for the point to be a bit more aggressive if the ground's hard so we could shorten the top link to make that happen a bit more and those are the basic settings. You can see that the CD units with the position of the roll are leaning forward a bit so we can adjust the um, angle of the bracket on this bolt here so we're just going to drop that down a couple of holes. If your tractor's struggling to uh, pull the restorer, these handles are just there just to get a bit of, bit of more assistance here and just help push the restorer through those tough bits. So we're calibrated, we're in the field and we're now just going to uh, run through the, the very minimal setup you need to do in the field. We've got our target rake set, we've got our cover crop double turnips. What we need to do is to engage the blowing fan do so what we'll do is if we hit our C roller button here you'll see uh, a very small sort of status bar if you like um, that's making its way up to sort of maximum capacity you'll see the icon has changed to uh, completely green which means that the fan is is at full full chat and it's ready to go um, and in the meantime we've got um, sort of alternating green and orange from our uh, uh, seed roller 
Um, there's nothing wrong with it, just means it's, it's ready to go. When we're actually moving down the field, that will change to a solid green and we'll see our, our kilograms per hectare will match our target rate. So we're set up quickly and easily. Conditions are perfect. We're even getting a little bit of rain now. Uh, and so we're restoring and we're putting in a, a cover crop of stubble turnips and ray. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like our content and you'll be able to see more updates on the Restorer, more tips and tricks of how to get the best out of it and other Rytec products. So we're walking on what's not been done. You can feel the ground's quite firm underneath. As soon as you step onto where we've been with the Restorer, you can immediately feel the effects of it. It's like walking on a lovely deep pile carpet. And we've got ideal conditions here, uh, as Spock can uh, test, pay testament that uh, we've got those uh, stubble turnips and uh, rape seeds going into just a nice compaction-free seed bed.